everyone, this is day 27 of the Crucial Catch 25 Push-Ups a Day Challenge. We are fighting cancer by doing 25 push-ups a day, every single day for the entire month of October, to raise awareness for risk reduction and early detection. This is also a fundraiser for American Cancer Society, so if you are watching this video on YouTube right now, please look down below the video in the description box. You will see a link. Click on that link that will take you to my Facebook fundraiser page where you can support me by making a donation to American Cancer Society. And of course, you're all invited to do the challenge with me as well. The only requirement to complete this challenge is just that you do 25 push-ups every day this October. It can be any push-up variation you're comfortable with and you can break up your reps throughout the day as long as you're doing a total of 25 every day. However, I wanted to increase the difficulty so I challenged myself to do a total of 100 reps of push-ups a day every single day for the entire month of October. And again today, I have incorporated my 100 reps of push-ups into my workout of the day, which as you can see, I have already started. All I was using today was my exercise mat and my interval timer. So if you don't have an exercise mat, a towel or a blanket will work just fine. And if you're working out on a carpeted floor, you probably don't even need that. If you don't have an interval timer like the little pink one I use, it's very easy to just download an app on your phone or you can just do the workout right along with me and use my timer. But these are all body weight exercises again today so you don't need any exercise equipment whatsoever if you wanna do this workout right along with me today. And quickly before we begin, this is day four of Mighty Quinn Week which means that for the fourth day in a row today, I am dedicating my 100 reps of push-ups to Kathy Quim, who we lost to tongue cancer several years ago. Kathy was an important family friend, and as I've been mentioning the last few days, more family than friend. I've been talking about Kathy all week, sharing a little bit about her each day. I have posted the link to her blog a couple of times where she chronicled her battle with tongue cancer. And yesterday I posted a link to a video featuring the testimony of Scott Baracco, who was her partner at the time of her death. Scott testified in front of the New York State Assembly on Kathy's behalf, telling her story and advocating for, wait for the plane, advocating for a death with dignity bill to be passed and codified into law in the state of New York. Today I am posting a link in the description box to a piece that Scott wrote for End of Life Choices New York. I hope you will take a few minutes to read that. Um, Scott has just been campaigning endlessly on Kathy's behalf ever since her passing. I really appreciate all the work that he's done because this is a cause I believe very strongly in that people should really have the bodily autonomy and the right to make their own end of life choices and to choose a death with dignity if that's what's right for them. So I really hope that you'll take a few minutes to um, check that out as well. And so now if you are up for a little bit of an additional challenge and you would like to do this workout with me today, go ahead and grab your exercise mat if you have one. If not, a blanket or a towel will suffice. Take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up and when you're ready, let's go.
Okay, that's four sets. Just have one more set to go to finish up part one. But we're going to repeat this exact same thing later. So let me go ahead and walk you through the combo this last time through, starting with eight duck unders. So imagine there's an obstacle here and you're ducking underneath it. So I'm gonna take a wide step out this way, ducking underneath my obstacle, that's one rep. And now back to the way, to the other side of the mat. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I'm going to do eight push-ups. I'm doing one leg push-ups. You can do any push-up variation you want. One leg push-ups just means I'm lifting one foot for each rep, switching feet each rep. So, lifting one foot, push-up, that's one. Switch the feet, that's two. Switch again, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now I'm gonna flip over and do eight crab toe touches. So I'm gonna start with my feet flat on the ground, hands flat on the ground. I'm gonna lift my hips up high and I'm gonna lift one foot. As that foot comes up, I'm gonna lift the opposite hand and touch the toes. That's one rep. So now alternating sides, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, we're traveling this way, so flip over again. I'm going to do eight mountain climbers. I double count my mountain climbers, so each two steps counts as one rep. So you're gonna start with one foot in, jump and switch the feet, and then jump and switch again. That for me is one rep. Okay, so eight reps, looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now stand. I'm gonna do eight squats, and I'm going to add a front kick, a high leg lift, whatever I'm call it. Uh, you can do any squat variation you want. Eight reps. So. As always with our squats, chest is lifted high. Strong, tight core, straight back. Keep the weight in the heels. And we do that by pushing the booty back. Like I'm trying to hit this wall behind me with my booty as I sink down into the squat. And then on the way up, I'm gonna kick one leg up, straight in front. We're gonna alternate sides, eight reps total. Here we go. So squat and kick, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so that was my fifth set, which means I have completed so far a total of 40 push-ups. So now we're gonna move on to part two, and then after we can get part two is only five minutes long. As soon as we're done with part two, as soon as we're done with part two, we're gonna come back and do another five sets of that combo, okay? So. Um, if you have an interval timer, set your interval timer for two rounds. The first round, the first, set your interval timer for two intervals. The first interval will be nine seconds. The second interval will be six seconds. Set your timer for 20 rounds of those two intervals and that works out to five minutes. Um, this is very similar to what we did 
I don't know, a week or so ago, a week or two weeks ago, um, but with slightly different intervals. Um, so for each, we're doing two exercises back to back. I'm doing high knees and push-ups. Just waiting for the plane. There's no rest interval, okay? We're just going back and forth. Each nine second interval is to do as many high knees as you possibly can, okay? So driving the knees up high. If you can't jump, just do this. Drive the knee up, really feel it in your core. If you can jump, then we're doing this, okay? Each six second interval, it should be just enough time, hopefully, to do one push up. So, Five minutes might not sound like much, but it's a long time to sustain this. So do your best. Um, if you need to rest, rest, but I recommend not skipping any push-ups if you can, because by the end of this five minutes, if you stay on track, you will have completed a total of 20 push-ups. And then when we repeat part one, we'll do another 40 push-ups, and that's our 100 push-ups. If you miss push-ups, you're going to have to keep track of how many you missed, and then you're gonna to have to make them up after the workout, okay? If you wanna to get to 100 reps. So, if you're completely gassed and you need to sit on an interval, I would prefer if you rest for an entire nine second high knees interval and get your push ups in, okay? So, trying to make sure we do all 20 of these push ups. No rest interval. So, as soon as I press start and this timer beeps, we're gonna start immediately with our high knees, okay? High knees, push up, high knees, push up, high knees, push up for five minutes, okay? <laughs> it doesn't sound like much, but it's gonna be tough, but it's only five minutes, so you only have to do it once. Here we go, ready? Timer's starting now.
So that was part two. I forget what day it was, but whatever was the day where we did that same type of thing, but instead of high knees, we were doing low jacks. Um, I had my timer set for 10 second intervals and five second intervals, which means I was doing the uh, cruiser jacks for an extra second, and I have one less second to do my push-up. Um, so today, I gave myself an extra second to complete my push-up, and boy did I need it. Um, you wouldn't think it makes a big difference, but it actually really does. So that's really, as far as I'm concerned, the toughest part of the workout. Now we just have to repeat part one. So we're going to do our little combo again, and we're gonna traverse the mat a total of five times, through five sets. So we're gonna start on this end, we're gonna end on that end, okay? And that'll be a total of 40 push-ups. We've done 60 so far, so that'll be, that'll take us to 100. Um, if you need a break before we start part three, just pause the video, go towel off, get yourself some water, and when you're ready, come back. We're gonna start part three right now. Okay, so I will talk you through the combo the first time, but I'm not going to go really slowly because I wanna get this done. So we're starting with duck unders, eight reps. Timer's going, here we go. So duck under, one, two, three, four, duck low, five, again, keeping the weight in the heels, strong, tight core. Now our push-ups, eight reps of push-ups. I'm doing one leg push-ups, alternating legs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now turn it over for crab toe touches, eight reps. Okay, turning over, continuing to travel in this direction towards the other end of the mat. Eight mountain climbers, double counted. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stand up. And eight squats. I'm doing squats with a high kick. So squat and kick, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 
eight. Now I'm gonna do the same combo, but I'm gonna start on this side and travel to the other side. Okay, so eight duck unders, here we go. That's two sets. We need to do three more. I'm just going to pause and rest for a few seconds here so that I can hopefully gain enough strength to get through the next two sets at a decent pace and without stopping really. So. I'm gonna give myself just a few more seconds and then I'm gonna take the next two sets. Hopefully that's not me. Here we go.
round five. We're almost done. Just one rep left. The workout is never officially over until we have done our bonus burpee. So, so our last rep of the day. Let's go ahead and do it together right now. seconds, which is actually faster than we did it the first time. The first time it took me 11, 11 minutes and 15 seconds. And I'm sure that's because I took that last set slowly and explained and demonstrated all of the exercises. But still, if you add those together, that's 22 minutes and 18 seconds. And if you add in our five minute part two, 
That means the entire workout took us a total of only 27 minutes and 18 seconds. Of course, that doesn't include the time it took me to move from section to section, but even if you add that in, it was only about 34 minutes. I thought it was a great workout. Um, I'm tired today, so I found it very challenging. If you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. And if you have not done so already, please remember to click the link in the description box below the video and make a donation to my Facebook fundraiser, Benefiting American Cancer Society. And please also click on the second link in the description box. That is it for day 27, and I will see you all right back here tomorrow for day 28. Bye.